Hello dear friends, welcome in Pharmaceutical Chemistry to Laboratory. Myself, Mrs. Urmila Ravindra Gaudi, MPAM in Quality Assurance. Today we are going to deal with synthesis. Experiment number 23. Title, to synthesize benzoic acid from benzamide and to find out its percent practical yield and melting point. Learning Objective After watching this video, student will able to learn intellectual skill and motor skill. Intellectual skill involves to understand the concept of the experiment, to understand the precaution, to plan the experiment, to perform calculation. Motor skill Ability to handle equipment, take and record observation. Ability to work according to plan of the experiment and ability of work, group working. New concept. Proposition first. Hydrolysis. Hydrolysis is the process or breaking of bond with addition of water molecule. Functional derivative of carboxylic acid like amide and ester can be acidic or alkaline media to yield a carboxylic acid in the form of salt and ammonia or amine or alcohol or phenol. Hydrolysis of the functional derivative of carboxylic acid is an example of nucleophilic substitution reaction. This is the reaction involved in hydrolysis. This is the ester or amide group. That means X is replaced by R dash O. That is, it is a ester group. And if X is replaced by NH2, then it becomes amide. In presence of water, that means H plus and OH minus, it gives carboxylic acid. Proposition 2. Synthesis. It is a process in which new product with unique structural formula, molecular weight and melting point is produced with chemical reaction. Proposition 3. Purification. Purification is the process of removing impurities from the product. Purification of the product includes application of recrystallization. Washing and drying the product in oven at a definite temperature for a desired period of time. This is the assembly of Bunsen funnel and flask and this is used for the purification purpose. Proposition 4. Recrystallization. Recrystallization is the process in which compound is dissolved in selected solvent with heating and then cooled slowly to a saturated solution from which pure compound is crystallized out. Proposition 5. Yield. It is a quantity of the product obtained in a synthesis. They are theoretical yield, practical yield and percentage yield. Theoretical yield. The weight of the product that one can should get based upon the stoichiometric quantity of the reagent, assuming 100% completion of the reaction. Practical yield. The weight of the product actually obtained after the purification of the product and percentage yield. It is calculated from the formula given below. That means percent yield is equal to practical yield divided by theoretical yield into 100. Now general concept structure. First of all we have to study theory then perform synthesis. After synthesis we got purified compound by using filtration and washing or by the use of activated charcoal treatment or by recrystallization. Now we get yield and from that yield we got we uh, we have to perform melting point of that product. Now apparatus used for synthesis. Round bottom flask, reflex condenser, beaker, Bunsen flask and funnel, vacuum pump and measuring cylinder. And the chemicals are benzamide, Sodium hydroxide 10% solution and hydrochloric acid. This is the chemical reaction. It involves hydrolysis. Benzamide which having 121 molecular weight. In presence of sodium hydroxide it get converted into sodium benzoate plus ammonia. And this sodium benzoate Benzoate when react with HCl, it gives benzoic acid. Now, this is the chemical reaction involved in the synthesis. That means hydrolysis is involved in the synthesis of 
synthesis of benzoic acid from the benzamine now for actual practical actual synthesis we move towards laboratory welcome dear student in our pharmaceutical chemistry to laboratory today we are going to deal with synthesis of compound today's title is to synthesize benzoic acid from benzamide and for find out its percent practical yield and determine the melting point now let's start with step wise procedure first we have to take round bottom flask and add 5 gram of benzamide into it take 5 ml of benzamide Place it into the round bottom class. Now this is the freshly prepared 70 uh, freshly prepared sodium hydroxide solution. Take 75 ml of sodium hydroxide solution. Here we have to take 75 ml. This is 50 ml. And now, 70, 25 ml. Now, total, we have, we had added 75 ml of sodium hydroxide solution. Check it properly. And, feed this RBF to the condenser. We have to add a porcelain piece into the round bottom mask so that the uniform mixing, uh, mixing and heating reaction occurs. Now reflex this RBF with the condenser in this way and uh, provide it inlet with continuous water supply and this is the outlet. And after that we have to give continue heating till 30 minutes. Gently heat for 30 minutes so that the reaction uh, mixture is reaction occurs in RBF and we get the recrystallized product. Now 30 minutes are over. Therefore, we have to remove uh, first of all stop the heating and then remove the flask from the condenser and then further procedure we have to perform. In 30 minutes we have to cool this solution into ice cold water. Now we have to add concentrated hydrochloric acid till the solution becomes strongly acidic. Shake the RBF continuously so that we get uniform acidic, strong acidic solution. After addition of concentrated hydrochloric acid, the white precipitate is separated out slowly. Now, cool this mixture in ice cold water for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, we have to collect the product from the Bachner funnel at the filtration pump. After drying, we got such a type of white crystalline product of benzoic acid. It is getting by recrystallization in boiling water. Now, for this solid compound, we have to uh, this is we have to wet this powder 
and then perform the melting point. The weight of the given sample of benzoic acid synthesized product is 3.79 gram. Now let's determine the melting point of this benzoic acid. Hmm. First of all we have to fill the capillary with the benzoic acid and then assemble like this and heat continuously so that we got uniform heating and got the proper and sharp melting point. As soon as all the solid particles get converted into liquid form, we have to stop the heating and at similar time we have to denote the melting point. Now solid particle gets starting to melt. Okay, now all the solid particle getting converted into liquid form and the melting point of the given sample is 144 degree Celsius. Melting point is 144 degree Celsius. We have to filter this white precipitate we are, which are getting from the synthesis from this filtration form. This is the vacuum form, this is the bunsa class, and this is the funnel. By using this assembly, we have to filter the precipitate, white precipitate. For that, we have to start the vacuum form. Then add Hence, by using filtration form, we get such a type of white color precipitate. Now, filter, uh, now this uh, precipitate we have to dry at 105 degree Celsius at oven. We have to put it into the oven and dry it at 105 degree Celsius so that we get dried compound. After performing the synthesis, we got some observation and that are amount of benzamide taken for the synthesis is 5 gram. Practical yield of the recrystallized product is 3.79 gram and the melting point of the product is 144 degree Celsius. Calculation theoretical yield of the product. From the reaction as 121 gram of benzamide gives 122 gram of benzoic acid. Therefore, 5 gram of benzamide will give 5.04 gram of benzoic acid. Percent practical yield. It can be calculated by using formula percent yield is equal to practical yield divided by theoretical yield into 100. We have to put value into the formula practical yield 3.79 and theoretical yield 5.40 gram into 100 that means percent yield is 75.20 percent result percent yield of benzoic acid is 75.20 percent and the melting point of benzoic acid is 144 degrees celsius thank you dear student for attending the practical session thank you